Hey guys, this is Strength Coach Freeman, and welcome back for another episode of Strength and Conditioning for Esport Athletes. Today's video will be using this tool, this ball with these rounded nubs, to work on the soft tissue in your hands. As I've mentioned in previous videos, soft tissue work is step one for the, the four steps that should be gone through for every training session that you complete. Again, step one would be your soft tissue work. Step two would be your movement preparation. Okay, those are your dynamic warm-ups. Step three would be either your practice time for gaming, your actual competition, or your strength and conditioning for gaming. And then finally, step four should be your recovery, uh, which would usually be static stretching. Again, sometimes people like to do a little bit of soft tissue work at the end as well. Um, that's fine if you want to throw a little of that in, but your main focus should be your uh, static stretching for that fourth and final step. So let's zoom in real quick, take a look at this device a little, in a little bit more detail, and I'll show you how you can use it for improving the functioning of your hands for uh, video gaming. So here's a close-up of this large ball with uh, a lot of small kind of rounded nubs. Another great tool to use, uh, pretty simple. You're going to take your palm, place it on top of the ball, apply some pressure, and slowly roll your hand down to the fingertips. Then you can start to kind of change the direction that you roll. I like doing a lot of circular motions, but both counterclockwise and counterclockwise. And clockwise and counterclockwise. Um, changing the angle of the hand, getting to the sides of the hand is pretty good. Sometimes on these smooth surfaces and get a little bit slippery. So I'm just doing it on like a gym floor, like a mat. It can be really good. Or again, rolling onto other parts of your body. So using the ball, using one hand to kind of roll onto another part of the hand. Another hand, I mean. So this way you kind of almost kill two birds with one stone as well, where you working into the soft tissue on both hands at once. But one hand should really be the lead and should be controlling the ball while the other hand is getting the work done to it. And then you switch to the opposite thing. Now because this, this ball is quite large, um, it, it is good for the hands, especially, you know, you can really cover the hands very quickly with such a large ball. So it's nice for a real quick uh, soft tissue session if you don't have too much time to do it. Um, you know, even just pressing down onto it or just trying to grip the ball. That's something I like to do. Um, just kind of grip and squeeze and try to press the different parts of your hands and fingers into the ball. That can be very beneficial. Uh, but this large size of the ball it's really great for working to other parts of the body, bigger parts. So working into the forearms, working into the hips, the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, uh, doing into the back as well. A lot of really good stuff you can do with, with a larger size bowl like this. I love this again for, for glutes and hamstrings. So I know you're probably thinking, oh, you know, I'm a, I play video games, I don't need to really work my glutes and hamstrings. but you know, if you're sitting for multiple hours at a time, sometimes, you know, 12 hours of gaming, things are going to get tight, things are going to get stiff, you might get some aggravation in those parts of the body, um, and just sitting so long, not getting blood flow into the area, uh, isn't always great for your health. So, using a tool like this, remote blood flow, to keep things a little more mobile, right, and just make sure that everything's flowing well and feeling good, can be very beneficial for any athlete, even if the sport doesn't require a lot of moving and a lot of leg work. So thanks for watching this video. 
and please stay tuned for future videos on strength and conditioning for eSport athletes.